Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. A sad day in the hobby land. Sad day in the land because this is our last half case break of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup. After this is done, I have I, I can't post anymore because we don't have any more. So big thanks to everybody right here who got into our last break. We'll try to get more. We'll try to get more. We do have a noir soccer on the site if you want to check that out, folks. jazbeeshobbyland.com. Kip with that last spot mojo. And there's everyone else. Thank you. Everyone for getting in, and good luck to everybody. So as you saw before, I numbered all these boxes number six, so you know they're from the same case. Good luck, everyone. Now remember, of course, most of you know that not not every one of these boxes have autographs, but they could have a low number parallel and get a lot of uh, a lot of value there too. Sometimes even more than some autos. So thanks to everybody who got into all of these uh, Prism World Cup breaks. Seventy five dollars a break credit at the end of this break too. So if you bought at least three teams, which I know most of you did, if you bought at least three teams, I'm sure everyone read the item description, right? You get one entry max. And a chance of seventy-five dollars break credit. Winner take all. We've seen the odds as low as as a one out of eight, a one in eight chance to get that break credit. Coming up after this will be uh, Panini Luminance American Football. We're doing this kind of football right now and then American football after this and then we will uh, and then I think we don't have anything else filled up after that so I know we're running out of stuff on the site which is a good thing because we've got a lot of new releases next week on jazbeeshobbyland.com so it's good to kind of clean up the site a little bit or clean out the site a little bit but we do have uh, one box breaks of immaculate football and um, we got basketball do some basketball essentials chronicles and Spectra Basketball on the site. So a lot of fun stuff. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Just check it out. We've got, by the time we do the next two breaks, we'll probably have about another hour and a half to two to uh, break some other stuff. So get your spots going. All right. Josh Xline says, says, save the time and just give the break credit to Nino. He's not even watching. I think he went to bed. All right. There's Jesus Corona from Mexico for L3. Ninety out of one forty-nine for L threes. That's Sen Yin with Mexico. <clears throat> these ones aren't numbered, so I'm kind of breezing by those, but they still will ship. Stuff like these commons won't be shipping, but obviously the inserts will ship. Numbered stuff I'll be sleeving up and top loading right away. We'll save one of these just because I have that key goal in the Germany Mexico game. We'll top load that before it goes out. What we haven't seen is one of those, uh, I like those national landmark cards or the group cards. We haven't seen any of those yet. There's Stefan Lichtsteiner out of 125 for Switzerland. That goes to Stephen K. Switzerland playing some strong soccer in their group stage. Messi given a lifeline by Nigeria. And we'll see how he does. We'll save one of these for Argentina for Ashley. We've got Alvaro Morata for España. One, two, three out of 199. It goes to Jerry Merle and Spain. Tomas Müller. <laughs> Not Bill Mosher's favorite. Favorite. There's Saeed. Pizzek. 
There's Licksteiner again. And we've got for England, Marcus Rashford. Pink Velocity, I believe, is the pattern. 23 out of 40. So that might be the one that replaced the autograph. That's a nice one, too. That goes to Jason L. And England. I think Jason's looking for ink from this guy. 23, Jordan, out of 49. All right, or out of 40. Eight out of 40 for Poland. Gregors, Krychow, Wiak. Sure, I butchered that. Sorry, Poland. They ate Gabriel with that one. Out of 40, maybe you've got two of those low-numbered ones. All right, and there you go. Box one in the books. Box two. Mothra was saying when, when you collected, they didn't have soccer cards. I don't think they were as... I think they've been, soccer cards have been around for a while. Just not as, I think, here in the United States, for us, I don't, it just wasn't as common. But nowadays, but, but Panini was around back in the day. They're uh, an Italian company. And they did, they were popular in Europe. So while kids in the United States, while we collected like baseball cards and stuff, kids in Europe and it's like South America and stuff would collect these sticker books right here. So you would like get the little packets of stickers and then you put them in, you collect all the players, you put them into these books, which they still do. But that's, that's how most people, most people in like Europe and South America and around the world remember Panini with those World Cup sticker books and those like... League sticker books and whatnot as well. Then Panini came in, I don't know, what, 10, 10 years ago? Maybe longer than that? And then just started, you know, buying up old brands and getting licenses and doing all this stuff and really making their mark in, in the hobby. But we're getting some of those stickers. People should buy those books over the weekend. They're only like three bucks, especially if you have kids. I think, I think I'm a big kid, so that's why I like those sticker books. But if you, especially if you have kids who are kind of into the World Cup or into soccer and you're watching with them, like buy them that sticker book. And you can collect the stickers. I think we're getting some stickers. I'll probably try to probably see if I can give them away. Next box. We've got Gabriel Gomez for Panama. We've got Ascan De Hag or De Haga. And Zaka, who I think might have been a goal scorer earlier today. So 14 out of 99. For Iran, that goes to Daniel Patera. And Gabriel Gomez for Panama goes to Andy S. Out of 149. There's Javier Mascherano. So these ones aren't numbered either, which is why I'm kind of breezing by those, but they will ship.
There's Romelu Lukaku. Nice. The Belgian striker. Nice. And Gabriel Jesus for Brazil. That goes to Sean. Nice. Look at that. These national landmark ones really sell well. Especially if it's kind of a big team like this. So there you go, Maui Bra. Sean with that one. That'll get your spot money back. Should. Lukaku's the nice one too for Man. Nan. That's go that's for uh, Belgium. Yeah, those landmark ones are really short printed too, Sean. You're welcome, man. It's a good one. Nicholas is saying, normally I don't like other breakers besides your main breaker, a breaker that must not be named. Can't give them free publicity, Nicholas. Come on. Because most of them are just so gimmicky. But you do. Wow. Well, I get, I guess I get Nicholas's approval, ladies and gentlemen. We're, uh, now my, now my breaking life is validated. No, you're, uh, thanks, man. No, I appreciate that. We we just we we just keep it real. We have fun. We uh, we talk sports. We goof around with pop culture. We try to keep it clean, family friendly show that sort of stuff. That's our gimmick, our tongue in cheek family friendliness. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know. I mean, I, we just keep it real. I I think that's really the best way I can say it. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but but I think uh, it's really like if you like sports talk radio. And you like goofing off and you like podcasts. I think we generally kind of appeal to that kind of kind of crew. There's Timo Werner. 3 out of 25. That should replace the auto. That landmarks and this out of 25. Timo Werner for Gabriel. Nice box. But yeah, that's what we're that's what we're about. And if you kind of like that vibe, you know, and some gambling talk too, but if you like that vibe, then uh then you're gonna you're gonna like hanging out here. And we got a good crew of people here too. I think over the years we've really built, um, <clears throat> we've really built a uh, kind of organically. We've built from the ground up, and really stuck to our guns about how we want to approach presenting ourselves as a show. And then, um, and I think that has kind of developed a long-standing customer base. <clears throat> which is what I think is which is what we like. Like Nicholas, if you look at like Josh Xline who needs his Tunisia hits, and you look at some of the other names like Maui Bra up there, Kip was here earlier. A lot of these people have been breaking with us for like years, you know. So I, I like the idea of, you know, I like the idea of what's that old car salesman thing? I don't want to sell you. One, you know, one car. I want to sell you and your family cars for your entire life, kind of thing. So that's why we're not about gimmicks or quick sales or quick, you know, or or discounting stuff or you know, volume breaking or anything like that. I think that just helps because we kind of cater to, um, I think a a relatively higher end clientele, which I think kind of keeps keeps this community of more serious buyers and and a lot of personal collectors too. I think I think it's good it's important to state that I think we have a lot of people that just buy just for the love of the hobby, not necessarily because they just want to flip cards. Which is an important part of the hobby in these modern days, in modern times, and I know it's an important aspect of it, but I think there's also a lot of people who understand and respect the value of just this as a as a hobby too. It's not just about flipping. The boss man has been involved in the hobby for decades. His his dad, I think, had started one of the. Uh, his dad, you know, founded one of the early hobby magazines that eventually turned into Beckett. The boss man worked for Beckett for like ten plus years. Price guide editor in the eighties. Worked for Tops. They uh, their started their vault program from the ground up. He was there for ten plus years. Um, 
And so we've got a lot of roots in like old school hobbiness, but we also, you know, and I'm much younger, so it's all, obviously we have the the appreciation for the the resale part of it too. But I think we kind of cater to both crews right there. Kevin DeBrunia. That's for Belgium, 37 out of 65. Yeah, Gilo saying, that's why you're here. Too many breakers cater to the big hit seekers. Well, I mean, I know everybody wants like Otani out of baseball stuff and they want all the big rookies, which is great. I like that too, but I don't think, I personally don't think it's the end all be all because some people will say like a case will quote unquote suck just because the big hit wasn't in there. But I don't know, it's, it's supposed to be fun. That's a big hit, though. I won't complain about this. Ashley Nelson. Ash gets Diego Maradona. Oh, Diego Maradona. Argentinian legend. He's the guy putting all sorts of pressure on Messi, kind of, I think. But a legend. World Cup legend. Argentinian legend. Legendary partier. Yeah, look up look up the look up the Maradona stories. Lot of a uh, lot of South American marching powder being used during games too. I was like, I have no idea how you would do that. Wouldn't you just get too rattled, too fired up? Guess not. Maradona could do it for Serbia. Dusan Tadic, refractor. Oh, nice. Nicholas says back in the day he's just set up at the local shows in Connecticut. You got out of the hobby because you had to adult, but then you settled down and then you got back into it. I feel like that's a common story for a lot of people. There's Olivier Giroud for Le Bleu. France echoes to Gabriel. I feel like a lot of people are like, yeah, you know, like I collected when I was a kid and then I had I went to college and, you know, I was busy – chasing girls and you know you know getting dates and and studying for school and getting a job and all this grown-up stuff and then then they get married and they have kids and then they're like oh yeah i want to i, I want to kind of get back into this so there's something i can do like an activity a different kind of activity you could do with the with with the kids and and whatnot so i think that's a that's a pretty common uh a pretty common characteristic of a lot of our crew here there there's that big tunisia hit that uh the x sign was looking for right uh wabi kazri you know about Wabi kazri wabi kazri right of course the midfielder right there the x line no yeah yes he the x line says he knows all about that guy he knows all about that guy. F favorite player says X line. Oh, you're welcome, man. Thanks for getting into the break, Josh. You can't win if you don't play. You can't win if you don't play. You played. You got the guy. You know, you, you might. I'll even send this to you, even though we don't ship commons. I'll even ship that to you, Josh. Just because just cause I'm a nice guy. We usually don't do this, but I know. Look at all those, look at all those Tunisians. This guy better be on the team. <laughs> um, I know we have Lumens to do after this, but bear with me here. They just played today. Yeah, they got, they got crushed by Belgium today. But was was he in the starting lineup? He was. In fact, in fact, he scored one of the two goals for Tunisia today against Belgium. X line. There you go. Wabi Karzi. Kazri. Sorry, Kazri. There goes our Tunisian audience. All right. So well, he's a goal scorer. In fact. In a in the 
he's actually the, the the main forward for that team. So there you go. He scored in the 90th minute. You should look at it. Maybe you should look up the highlight. Could be an amazing goal. Maybe that'll sell. When you sell this for a million dollars, X line, make sure you open up shipping to Tunisia. Dan, what's going on, man? How are you? Doing well. Keeping busy. All right, a few more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Then we have Luminance football, American football, coming at you after this. And then, uh, what else? And then I don't know what we're going to do after that. Maybe some basketball. I, I saw some basketball talk earlier. Maybe we'll do some hoops. Maybe some more hockey. Yeah, Mothro does have some good Wildwood ticket stories. He, he He's our correspondent out there letting us know how many tickets it costs to get certain things. That's right, Antonio. We've got some American football coming at you after this world football. I kind of want to look up that Kosri goal. What if it was a cool goal? See, this, this is what I love about... This is what I love about the hobby because... It's a good way to like this and like fantasy sports. Like if you ever want to get into a new sport, if you want to learn about it, like a new sport, buy a box of cards and join a fantasy league for that sport. Done. That's I that's what I might need to do this hockey season. I should I should just get just join a hockey fantasy league or something like that. That'll that'll help me learn all the players. All right, here we go. Nice Mohamed Salah. I'll save one of those. Liverpool's Mohamed Salah. That's my club. And Courtois. Thiago Courtois for Nan. That's for Belgium. 110 out of 149. You'll get this too. There's Enzo Perez. You know, you know what Enzo reminds me of? Uh, in Godfather, the baker that goes up to when Michael Corleone's at, at the hospital. It is I, Enzo, the baker. Michael Corleone, a very young Al Pacino, is like, ah, Enzo, right. Here, stand here. Put your hand in your, in your coat like you're wearing a gun. Oh, Enzo the baker. He had no idea what he was getting into. There's the Ox, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who destroyed ligaments. The As the English will say, he did his knee maybe a month or two before the World Cup, which probably affected Liverpool's Champions League chances. And I'm sure England would have loved to have him for the campaign as well. And then we've got Aaron Robin. Nice. Signature moments, Aaron Robin, for the Orange. Netherlands. Who's got the Netherlands? Andy S. with the Orange. One of the big teams not in the World Cup this year. Along with us and um, and the Italians. But there it is. Do I remember? I think I kind of do. I remember Dirk Coit, who's also a former Liverpool man. For Colombia, there's Juan Guillermo Cuadrado. And that's Andy S. with Colombia. 90 out of 125. There's Christian Eriksen for Denmark. We'll save one of these Cristiano Ronaldo's for Portugal. Right, right. We all, we always enjoy, we always enjoy random f food, mostly snack talk. But there's Yusef uh, Mascani for Tunisia, blue. Oh man, another one. Did he play today? Um, no, did not play today. Is he on the bench? Not on the bench. Well, what what is what 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 does Mascani do? 
What does Yusef do? 134 out of 199. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, why, why? He seems like an important part of the team. Maybe he was injured? Yusef, where are you on your on the on the Tunisia team squad list here? Maybe he got injured. He's not on this list. Well, we'll have to to the next line. We'll have to definitely look that up later. See what's going on with that situation. Seems like he's a key part of the team. We'll save one of those messies as well. Um, Hiroki Sakai for Japan out of 125. That goes to James. Diego Godin for Uruguay. And Carlos Sanchez at the back there. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. He's the water. He's the water boy. They don't put water boys in this set. They put they put World Cup stars in this set, and some people not in the World Cup. All right, two boxes to go in break number six. Our last one for the time being. Um, check back next week. We're gonna try to get some. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some more. All right, two boxes left. Good luck, everybody. We should be done with this in about, oh, 10 minutes or so, and then we'll be diving into uh, Panini Luminance American Football from 2018. We just filled that one up not too long ago, so we'll be doing that. And then after that, not sure what we're going to do after that, so go to jazbeeshobbyland.com and check it out and see what breaks are left, see what strikes your fancy. By the time we're done with this, we should be, and, the, and then the next break, we should be probably around the last hour and a half to two hours of the broadcast. So make sure you uh, make sure you get into the next breaks now so we can get, gain, get some momentum for a little bit later tonight. Stephen K saying, still waiting on your big hits from Italy and Saudi Arabia. Well, there's, there's no big hits for Italy, Stephen K. They're not even in the World Cup. At least you can watch the Saudis play. How do the Saudis manage to back into the World Cup? I feel like I have to look at their qualifying campaign. Because I think most of the most of these small, like tiny countries at least have one or two like stars that are in like one of the big European leagues, right? I'm pretty sure Saudi Arabia has like zero players in, in like a big European league, like England or France or Italy or Germany or anything like that. So All right, next one. I'm not sure, Mothro. Around then. Not a lot to talk about it during a Panini break, though. Alberto Rodriguez, Peru. That'll go to the X line. I think we had some higher hopes for Peru, I think, ladies and gentlemen, to advance out of their group, but kind of stumbled in, the, in this year's campaign. Hugo Lloris for France. And we've got Mark Milligan for Australia. Australia's been playing some tough soccer. Kip, they might have an outside chance to get in there out of 149. There you go. Genius Moments got you, Mothro. Nemanja Matic for Serbia. Well-known player there. That'll go to James and the Serbians. 
I'm gonna save that Sergio Aguero too, even though, that's, even though that's not numbered. I like that. It's a good Sergio Aguero for Argentina for Ashley. We'll save a Chicharito as well. Mexico seems Mexico could poise to win that group. And, wow, nice, Group C. This is a randomizer. That's a good group. That could be a potential World Cup winner right there. These, believe it or not, sell really well. I think we, we got a, I think Rex got a, got a group card, maybe some random group, Group B or D or something like that. He said he sold it for like 50, 60 bucks. Some of the bigger teams right here. It's a randomizer, obviously, but that's a cool one. That might replace the autograph. Maybe. Ooh, some gold, maybe? We got gold. Kalichi E. Hey Anacho. And that is 8 out of 10. Ihe Anacho. Oh, mid middle name Promise. It's also an indicator of his skill. I think he scored a goal. Did he score a goal in, in yesterday's game? I think Kip has Nigeria, right? Nice, Kip. But uh, Nigeria's kind of had a surprising campaign. They've been playing... No, ah Ahmed Musa scored both of them. But he's the other forward, the other striker partnered up with Musa for the Nigerian team. I don't think a lot of people expected a lot from Nigeria this World Cup, but they've done all right. They've got an outside chance of, of getting through to the next round, Kip. Which would be a good thing for the, for the value of that card. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Oh, uh, Nicholas Leslie was saying earlier that your your buddy Stavros from earlier oh pulled a Moscow out of twenty five from this. We've seen one of those too with the uh, the Mojo refractor on it. Let me pull that Moscow. Maybe it was for, was it for him? I don't know. It was a it was a nice hit though. I think that goes for a lot too, the Russia ones. Oh, those ones will obviously go to Russia. Nice. Kip's like, the only reason why I got Nigeria, they might advance. They've got a shot. Like, who do they play next? Oh, Argentina. Oh, man. Imagine if they, if they, well, they just need a draw, actually. If they draw, and if Iceland lose or draw, they're they're through, or if they win, I mean, they gotta they gotta get a goal difference situation going. But they've got they've got the advantage on the goal difference. Oh, because they beat Iceland two nil. They've got a good shot. They can knock Argentina out, which might be which might be cause for a national holiday in Nigeria. They'll knock Nigeria, or they they could knock Argentina out. That match is on the twenty sixth. Cray, because I don't think Nigeria was. I certainly didn't when I was looking at all the groups. I certainly didn't think that they would advance. In fact, if Croatia, Croatia probably should advance. I think they're almost guaranteed to advance. If um, Croatia advance, if Croatia and Nigeria advance out of that group, <laughs> it'll be kind of crazy, because I think a lot of people thought it was going to be completely flipped upside down. Iceland, Argentina, Iceland. All right. 
Last one. Good luck, everybody. Uh, the final game, Mothro, I think is in July. Mid-July. The whole thing's about a month. Like March Madness. All right. Ousmane Dembele for France, for Le Bleu. And that'll be for Gabriel. At a 199. That's Courtois for Belgium. And then it looks like we're going to have an autograph in this box. Behind Urenia is... Is that William autograph? No, it's not. Oh, but we got the the different font right here. That's a different short print as well. That's a cool one for Brazil. Sean, there you go. You should actually l look up what this goes for. I think are, these are really short printed. I don't... They're not, they're not even one. I haven't even seen them one per case. I think we've only pulled... Maybe three, two or three out of out of all the Prism World Cup breaks we've done. There's Jose Jimenez for Uruguay, twenty four out of sixty five. That'll go to the X line. Twenty-four out of sixty-five. Croatia has looked really good. In the World Cup. And we got Diego Godin for the X line. Camel refractor. That should be a low number to take the place of the autograph. It is 19 out of 20, the big center back. So Uruguay's thing is that they've got a great defense. I guess the defenders would be right here. They've got great strikers in Luis Suarez and Cavani, but they don't have a midfield. It's like, a, it's like having a good defensive line. And having good cornerbacks, good defensive backs, but then no linebackers. So that middle of the field always gets a little interesting for them. All right. Did I, did I show this side right here? All right. And there you go, folks. Quick randomizer right here and money. Got to give away that break credit. So let's go get a, I need an extra list for random.org. So for this one, we have France... Australia, Peru, Denmark. And then let's get everyone's names here. Let's sort by column A. So Andy got at least three teams. That's a spot in the promo. Daniel got at least three. Gabriel got at least three. So did James. Jason L. The X line. Kip. Nino, Senyin, and Stephen K. All right, so that is 10 names, one out of 10 chance to get $75 of break credit, winner take all. All right, let's roll the dice for both lists. It's going to be one and a three, four times. One, two, Three and fourth and final time goes to Peru. X line. There you go, Josh. Sorry, there's a lot of dust on here, but I wouldn't be surprised if this this goes for a decent amount. 
All right, and then once again, one and a three, four times for the money. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time, James. James S., $75 of break credit coming your way. Congrats to everybody. Thank you, everyone, for filling up all of these Prism World Cup breaks. Um... We'll try to get some more. I'll ask Nick to get some more. Hopefully, we can get some. Keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com for more of that stuff, and we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.